Hello, welcome to another video. So today I'm going to explain why I stopped swimming for now. Okay, do not panic. I'm not quitting swimming. Okay, I'm just taking a break for now and I'll tell you why. The answer is very simple. Okay, I do not like drop in swimming schedules. Okay, if you are aware in North America, especially here in Canada, uh, you have to book a time in order to visit your local pool. And the time that you're given is about an hour to swim. I do not like these restrictions. All right. So I tried it in the beginning and I just, it just felt like I was in prison. Right? I, I can swim for this amount of time. I get, I have to get out of the change. And all, all of that stuff takes more than an hour for me. I don't know about you, but for me, an average swim session, if I really focus, you know, intensively from, from beginning to end, it's going to take about two and a half to three hours for me to get a really good workout in, okay? So under a one hour time limit, it's just very stressful and you got to find a time, you got to book a time in advance. So, you know, the pools are limited to a, a set number of people allowed. So, you know, still, you know, these effects are still in place. So I was like, you know, fuck, you know, forget it. I'm not going to do this anymore and i don't want to you know worry about trying to find a time you know I, all the times are booked pre-booked you got to book in advance i miss the good old days you know when you can just visit you just show up to your local pool anytime you want and then you start swimming for a few hours and then you leave and uh the most flexibility i had was when i was swimming in thailand and malaysia and uh yeah, all those uh, countries over there in Southeast Asia. But now, you know, I heard that, you know, they have restrictions over there for their pools. So, you know, my plan was to fly over to Thailand or Malaysia, spend a few months there like I usually do, especially in the wintertime because, yeah, Canada's brutal in the winter. And then film a bunch of swimming videos for you, for you guys, right? And enjoy my time there in the pool and all that. But that didn't happen. So basically, I've been stuck here in Canada ever since, you know, this COVID thing happened. And I've just been trying to figure out what to make videos about since I can't access a pool you know, efficiently, you know. So uh, to give you an example, right, like to try to book a time at a local pool near me, it's like if you look at the schedule, like they're all booked, like all the slots are filled up in advance and you got to wait like two weeks in advance to find a, a slot that's open. And usually that slot is, you know, it's, it's at a time like 5 a.m. or something, which I can't access to because you got to drive there and all that. So I was like, this is a very, really stressful for me, you know, as a swimmer, I want to enjoy my swimming. I don't want to feel like it's forced or rushed or like I'm in prison. So there you go. That's my answer. So what am I going to be making videos about uh, from now on? Well, stay tuned, but I'll give you a quick hint. It's going to be about fitness, okay? So if you probably don't know, I'm also a personal trainer, and I train people, and uh, I help people get in shape and lose weight and all that stuff. So you're probably wondering, you know, what's my take on fitness? And I'm going to tell you a lot about it, well, my view on fitness. So stay tuned for that. And uh, yeah, I hope this an has answered uh, the burning question, why I stopped swimming. So uh, yeah, take a break from now. There's more to fitness than swimming. So stay tuned for what I'm going to talk about in the later videos. All right. Thanks for watching. My name is Justin and bye.